Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I put a video out and uh, we just got a whole bunch of new fish in. So I thought I'd uh, release something quick. A lot of you guys have been asking for something like this. So uh, here's all the new stuff we got in this week. So we've got over here some top shelf bettas. Look at this super delta tail koi male. He's kind of hiding in the corner right now, but once he gets out, got some beautiful fins on him. Look at that coloring. Even more impressive though, I love the half moon kind of finish with the color on this Galaxy Koi uh, half moon pocot short tail. It's beautiful. It's got so many blues and oranges, and reds. Oh, Can't get a good angle on him. Let's see, there we go. And then here we've got a black samurai pocot. These guys are kind of like a dragon scale, I believe. Uh, really cool, kind of simplistic, but very beautiful. Over oh, here, just a bunch of mono sea bay. A little gang of pea puffers, some jewel cichlids, some Texas Oscars, Paku. Got little baby red tail cats. Some uh, black ghost knife fish. Some silver scats in with some uh, Cynodonis Valentinos. Over here we get these uh, armored cats from Niger. These guys are huge and definitely armored. You can tell just looking at them. Right next to some nice uh, figure eight and spotted puffers. Some young little tiger shovel nose cats. regular flower horns next to some trophies that are a little shook up they just came out the bag so a lot of these guys are, aren't showing colors or they're a little pale or got a little uh azul peacock bass little babies but yeah because we just finished floating them some convicts pretty common nice little silver arowanas some of the albino paku. Got a gold tiger datnoid, the NTTs. Uh, African Odo pike. For all you flower horn fans, we got a whole bunch more flower horns in. Uh, tiny little jardinis. Some albino arowana, another NTT. Down here, we've got some big old, uh, some bass, some Tiamensis bass. And I think there's some tarpoon fish in there. And I think maybe one or two Zingu bass. A bunch of bass in here. As usual, we got a nice variety of shrimp in. Bunch of Neos and Caridina. And of course the cherries, you gotta have a lot of cherries. And a monos. As you can see, we're still unloading some fish. So I'm gonna check out some of the salt water right quick. Got a nice uh, lion fish in here, two of them. I believe they're the dwarf lionfish, so they stay pretty small. And you got a little angler frogfish there. And a spiky box puffer hanging out over there. Got some purple firefish next to regular fires. And then, you know, the regular, like, fox faces and butterflies. We didn't get much salt water in today so most of these guys have been here a couple days as you know we go through everything really quick some tomato clowns lots of damsels got a moorish idol back there behind these damsels you got some more uh lionfish i think these are the peacock black lionfish 
believe we have a, yep, a smooth hound shark here. Where'd he go? He's swimming around. He's got this whole bottom basin to himself. Swimming around. And then up here past the plants, we got all kinds of nice big goldfish on the top. We got a bunch of ranchus and uh, ryukins. The Mirandas, gigantic, and at the kind of mediums, got some nice uh, black and white Arandas, Little redheads, red caps, got the, the bubble eyes. So over in the quarry area, you know, we got all the regulars but check out this Brocus uh, multiradiatus. Is that not the biggest quarry you've ever seen? Look at him compared to the little punctatus. That's a big quarry. And since I'm in a bit of a hurry, uh, I gotta actually head to a, a customer job pretty soon. So all of the upstairs is still floating. Got some nice royal plecos. Sorry, I had to cut out there for a second. Uh, there's always customers who know me coming up, talking to me. These uh, King Tiger Plecos came in pretty nice, especially once they're more comfortable and darken out a little more. Their patterns will be more uh, more easy to see and look a lot better. But I was gonna say, I finished floating everything upstairs. Let's go take a look. Uh, they're not ready to be released yet, but we can still see them. Also got, you know, our usual angels. Some of these I've bred. Some come from another breeder, but like that guy, that guy came from me. Um, your usual neons. Let's get to something more interesting. Past the rummy nose. Got our discus, our small discus. And then our large discus here. These guys came in nice, real pretty. Somebody's already picked through and picked out a bunch of the, because we had all kinds of colors when these guys came in actually a day or two ago. We had some uh, African butterfly fish. There was a bag floating of them, but somebody must have bought them already before they even got out the bag. A crazy goby. Had a archer. Some little silver hujetagars. A flag tail porthole hiding in the corner. A bunch of different uh, calvis. Uh, got the ink fins, the Congos, and the Regani black. Got an electric catfish. These guys are awesome, but you can't house them with anything else because of obvious reasons. They'll electrocute them. Look at those eyes, though. Quite a cool fish. You got room for a species only tank. Be a neat one to have. Yeah. Sun cat hanging in here with a whip tail. And here another sun cat in with some epistos. Can't really see them too well since they're in the bag, but we got in a bunch of epistos, the double reds. Uh, as usual, we've got a bunch of uh, rams. These are the long fin blue rams. Got some, uh, some German blues and a gold ram hanging out in there. And some of my all-time favorites, the electric blues. Always a beautiful fish, but can be kind of finicky and delicate. Over here are another one of my favorites, Cynodonis petricola. These are the best of the Cynodonis cats because they stay tiny and cute. Even their full size is like pretty small, especially because uh, all other Cynodonis get gigantic. Got some Crebenzis, some Shadowfin cats, four line cats, Pictus cats. Uh, let's see, let's find something interesting. Got a round nosed whale. It's not something you see every day. And not something you can see very well right now. <laughs> Here we go. Here's another one you don't see all the time. It's 
the Rainbow Wolf Gobi, also known as the Shuyo Rojo. It's a Gobi, but he's one of the aggressive ones. You wouldn't want to house this with anything delicate. They can get nippy. Another really neat one here. We got a Peru lungfish, but look how tiny it is. It's a little baby. I'm gonna have to go get a cup to stop it from escaping and sliding through to other tanks and hopping out. Really neat looking, but he will eventually get quite large, or she. Finally, in this quick tour, we're getting near the end. Um, not too many of these are really new or things that we don't always have, but. Uh, Red Hook Matennis, some black upside down cats. There he is, swimming upside down. Good. Big old albino clown knife. Big beautiful frontosa. Huge. And also we're figuring out which of these, we're gonna have to move something out of there aggressive to make room for this guy. Yeah. So African lungfish is huge as well. You see his little uh, arm-like appendages. Such a cool fish, but again, something that's just gigantic. He'll, you know, this is still a really small one. We've had them in here before that were like five, six feet long, I think. It's somewhere around there. They're gigantic. I could barely wrestle it. Um, and then. Got some rope fish, African rope or reed fish. They're always cool. But yeah, and then here's just the African cichlids. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tour and see the new stuff we got in today. And I'll uh, try and get some more videos out to you as soon as possible. So we've got some little black chin live bearers from a, a local breeder. Hi. There's uh, some killifish, got some gardener eyes. Got a little spixy frog, I think. Um, some different killies. Let's see, Daisy's root, uh, blue-eyed rice fish. Golden liar tail killies. Some banded killifish. A pair of them. African moon crabs came in pretty good size. Got some Haitian hermit crabs. It's been a while since we've had those. Uh, young African mudskipper. These guys are gonna get a lot bigger. They're not small like my Indian mud skippers. We got some uh, red-tailed uh, golden live bearers. It's another local breeder brought some in. And you know, all the usual stuff we got. Lots of different crayfish. Most of these are normal, but uh, you can see right here, Got some uh, some blue albino uh, Dumbo ear guppies. They're really beautiful. Unfortunately, they're all males, but <laughs> and there's some metallic white Moscows mixed in there and red pictas. 